As you have learned, an attribute defines the function of each one of these existing options in a dialog box. So now you'll learn how to insert some attributes in a block in this class, and in this case on an A4 page. Let's insert four attributes responsible for defining the designer's and revisor's names, creation date and the project name. You'll start by defining variable attributes, which refer to Attributes for inputting the designer's and revisor's names. Click on Define Attribute. Type the text Designer Name in Tag and Designer Name in Prompt in the new dialog box. Use the copy command to copy the created attribute and then place it in the revisers field. Double click the copied attribute so you can edit the tag and prompt values. Define the text reviser name in tag and reviser name in prompt. After finishing the revision, click OK. Now let's insert the fixed fields, which means these fields do not accept any manual data input. Let's enable the Define Attribute tool. You need to define the constant option in the new dialog box as this value is constant. Define the date value in tag and then define the create date field as default to display the file creation date. Confirm the data in the dialog box and place the attribute in the correct place. Insert an attribute in the larger box and enable the constant option and tag with the file value. Let's define the file name field as default, configured to display only the file name in capital letters without the file extension. After all attributes have been created, save the block and close the editor. See how from now on, whenever this block is inserted, a dialog box will open and request data input. You can change the input mode by typing the at dear command and changing the value to zero. Then attribute data can be input in the command line. So let's return to inputting data in the dialog box. Type at dear again and define the value as 1. If the data input order is not done correctly, you can change the order by clicking the block attribute manager command and change the attribute order. So in this class, you've learned how to create block attributes, change the way to input data, and the requested data order. Practice using these tools you've studied in this class, and create a customized legend, and then define other attributes.